Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. We want to welcome you to another Christian voice. My name is Basil Hansen. And as usual, we want to deal with issues that are current and relevant, things that you know people are afraid to talk about you know we like to talk about them we want to read a scripture you know today that will lay the groundwork for where we want to go today i want to read revelation chapter 21 and from verse 7 and it's 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 well known in the christian community but for those who don't know it's a very simple verse those who are victorious will inherit all this and i will be their god and they will be my children but verse 8 is what i want to look at but the cowardly the unbelieving the vile the murderers the sexually immoral those who practice magic arts the idolaters mm -hmm. and all liars they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur this is the second death this is the word of the Lord so all those who think there is no hell think again you are deceived God says this is the second death so the first death Amen. we have an appointment with death it is appointed unto men once to die then judgment after that the judgment so today I want to talk about boldness, you know. You know what days we hear about heroes. Eh? I grew up hearing about Marcus Garvey, Sir Alexander Bustamante, um, Nanny of the Maroon, and many others who were national heroes. But in order for them to be national heroes, they, they could not be cowards. They had to be men and women who were brave who fought against injustice, who fought against evil. You know, in those days we were enslaved and they decided that they were going to fight to set the people free. So for you to become a hero, you have to be brave, you have to be bold. And Jesus says, the number one in the line going to hell is the coward. Not the homosexual, mm -hmm. not the adulterer, not the fornicator. They're going to, you know. But the first person on the list mm -hmm. going to hell is the man with coward. coward. Yeah. So today, I have with me, you know, a young man who has been taking social media by storm. You know, he has been saying some stuff in recent times. You know, he has said a number of things, you know, especially... You know, as it relates to our Prime Minister, the most honorable Andrew Holness. And, and I'm happy that he never disrespected the office of the Prime Minister. He, he always said the most honorable. Un noble, honorable Andrew, Andrew Holness. So I, I want to say that today we have him in studio to talk with us about some of these pronouncements some of these prophecies and and you know what god is saying which one has not yet come to pass those that have come to pass and what god is saying and i must commend him for his boldness if i admire nothing else about him i admire the fact that he is prepared to be bold and he's prepared to speak for god even if he doesn't do everything right because we know in parts and we prophesy in parts. So those who are behaving as if they have this thing together, none of us have it together. We are all in the process and we are all making mistake in the process. But I am admiring this man's boldness. He's not afraid to say, thus said the Lord, which is what we need in these times. You know, We need people who will say, thus said the Lord, whether it is prime minister, whether it is king's house, or whether it is poor house. We need to say, thus said the Lord. Everybody needs Jesus Christ from the head to the bottom. We all need Christ. And so he's prepared to speak God's word. And there are those who have criticized him negatively those who have condemned him those who have you know 
um, say all manner of things against him, those who have called him false prophet. But today he's here with me um, and he's going to be sharing with us. And, and I want to introduce you to Apostle Peter Chambers and we want to welcome him on Christian voice today. Apostle, welcome to the program. Well accepted, sir. And, um, you know, you have been in the hot seat for a while now. <laughs> um, you're a small man, but you're a very brave man. <laughs> small in stature, but big in God. Amen. amen. And, you know, I, I want to commend you yes, sir. for your work, um, for being bold, for yes. speaking things that some of us would not dare to utter. Yes. You know, because we have become men pleasers rather than God pleasers. There are many of us in today's Christian walk who have who rather please men and please God. But I thank God for you. You know, you are prepared to lay yourself at the feet of Jesus. Yes. You are prepared to trust God for your protection, Amen. for your security. Amen. And so there are a number of things that has been said and you you made some prophecies and some declaration, especially in the recent times, you know, and the recent election about, you know, um, the, the, the government and especially the, the most honorable yes. um, Andrew Holness. Did, did God really speak these things to you, um, Apostle Peter Chambers? Did God speak to you? Yes, the Lord did spoke to me about yes. um, the, the honorable Andrew Holness. As yes. a matter of fact, where it started mm -hmm. in March when the the pandemic, the COVID-19 came to Jamaica mm -hmm. and the lockdown and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just followed, you know, just followed the, 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 the rules and the laws and everything. Yes. But I started fasting and praying, mm -hmm. started seeking the Lord mm -hmm. in fasting and prayer. So I would fast from six until six, break it and then get back into the word, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. And one night when I went to my bed, I was praying 12 o'clock until three immediately. As the clock struck three, mm. I came off my knee and I dived into the bed. Mm. Immediately I was brought into a trance mm. and the Lord began to speak to me. He says, Peter, I needed to speak to the most honorable, noble and jewelness. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, Lord, how am I going to speak to this man? Mm. Remember this man, he carries a very high position. Mm -hmm. The Lord says, listen, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Then he began to ex expose to me the impending judgment to come. Mm -hmm. What I saw in that vision, man of God, mm -hmm. it, drew, it drew fear into my heart. Mm -hmm. And I got up out of that vision, woke up my wife, and I said, what? I said to my wife, um, I just got a vision. She said, calm down, honey. Why are you breathing the way your heart pumping? I said, listen. Jamaica is at the verge of a mighty destruction mm -hmm. and um, so I continued to seek the Lord and you know ask him for wisdom and knowledge and how to go about it and he gave me the direction why is Jamaica at the brink of a mighty destruction according to what the Lord has revealed into my spirit that Jamaica has backslidden from God mm -hmm. and, and I'm talking about from a Christian perspective the, we have become lovers of the world more than lovers of, lovers of God. Mm -hmm. Also, the, the, the church of Ephesus, which is a productive church, a successful church, mm -hmm. what has happened, they have achieved, so no more they want to hear from God. Mm -hmm. And the systems of the church today in Jamaica is different from in the, in, in the 90s, because mm -hmm. I was born in 1976, mm -hmm. and I came into the church where you couldn't commit a sin and come into the church. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost dogs will bark at you. Mm -hmm. So, but in the 20th century, we find out that all of the people, the discerners, the prophets, mm -hmm. they eliminated them during the time from 90s up to the, uh, to the early 2000. Mm -hmm. And you find out now that the prophets, there was, a, there was a siege, as a matter of fact, there was a pursuit to kill the prophets, the people that God would want to use for such a time as this. How is it though that the, 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 the destruction or you know, Jamaica is on the brink of, of judgment? Um, 
but but the Bible says judgment first begins, begins with the, in the house, house of, of God, the with the people of God. So if, if God is going to judge Jamaica, it means he would have already judged the church. Yes. And so how the, the right honorable, the most honorable Andrew Holness, how is he now? You know, what is God saying? Because you mention him a lot, mm. you know, even as, you know, time for the election yes. and you said mm. a number of things. What what part he plays in all of this? All right. Why his name, you know, is at the forefront? From a legislative perspective, mm -hmm. th these are the these are the issues. Right. When you think about the ruling out the rod out of the home, the Bible says if you the Bible says that if you spear the the, the, the rod, you spoil the child. Right. All right. Secondly, um, there are a lot of issues that are taking over homosexuality. That is another issue. Mm -hmm. Um. Witchcraft, the Obia. Mm -hmm. I think you remember last year, mm -hmm. specific ministers came out yeah. boldly and declared yes. that they want yes, to right, 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 yes. right. They want to legalize Obia, Obia. Yes. and yes. that became became an issue. The fourthly, the bro god. Yes, the what bro is, god. What what is bro god? What it really mean? Well, the bro god is coming from the ghetto era. In the ghetto era. They defined a bro god as a as a powerful leader, mm -hmm. somebody that they highly respect, and also a ground god, oh. also. But a lot of people are giving other definitions just to hide. Mm -hmm. So what the Lord reveals to me that that name is taking on the ownership of God. And I, if you if you follow my videos, I keep saying to him, you need to e eradicate that name because that name is going to cause great destruction to you. In other words, you're saying that God will not share His glory, his glory with and, no man. And so, so you're saying then that the most honorable and jewelness is taking on a God kind of mentality then. You know, where He's, he's, he's you mean in Jamaica, where, where we live, He's God yes, over yes. Jamaica? Well, you sure? Well, sir, you mean if you with, notice. With, with we alive still? Yes, yes. He's God? And it is possible. So, so how you're not kneeling down and praying to Him? Well, you, 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 you have a valid point. <laughs> Yeah, if he's God, oh, we're not kneeling down and praying to him. So I, I, I'm just saying these mm -hmm. things to say that judgment, we have to balance judgment. If judgment mm -hmm. is going to hit Jamaica, it means the church has been judged already. Yeah, well, the church is already judged, <laughs> yes. as you said, and I'm in a 100% agreement with yes. the judgment with the church because the church is brought to a point where we haven't been doing the laws the, 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 the precepts and the commandments that we are to do. How you deal yeah. with people who say that you just have a grudge against the Prime Minister? You just, you just don't like <laughs> the most honorable and you hold And, and I don't and, think... And you're you are, you are, you are against JLP, you are PMP. How, how, how well, you deal with those kind of accusations? Because you must have come across those kinds of Over and over. I mean, people inbox me, hundreds of thousands yeah. uh, inbox me that uh, me grudge him and and you not take away nothing from me or what yes. but listen it is more than politics mm. it is more than your affiliation with the the, 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 the most honorable noble and mm -hmm. it is about god so m my emphasis is not about the people the external it is about the internal which god is dealing with the present prime minister mm. and i can assure you i love him with the love of the lord mm. i don't i don't have a grudge i don't have a eat for him yeah. all my plight my my pursuit it is it is for his soul the soul that sin it shall surely die regardless of what you acquire in life yeah. every man every knee must bow every tongue will confess the bible says again there is a way that seem it right unto a man but the end thereof is is, is death mm -hmm. there's another scripture that um the scripture declares that um a man's life is not consistent by the abundance of what he possesses how, how you explain though that you know you made some personal yes. um, declaration yes. about the prime minister you said that angels were going yes. to vote against him yes. in the election obviously the angels vote for him yes. <laughs> because he won the election mm. so how, how you explain that because there are persons out there are saying mm. you are false prophet Yes. because you said that explain that to the viewers mm -hmm. how is it that the angels did not vote against mm -hmm. mr holness for him to have won the election all right the angels would be the sons and daughters of god which is the christians mm -hmm. those are the people who would come and vote specifically for the church because you see one of the things that people need to understand that his objectives 
they are not per se the objectives for the church and if you review very carefully how the church was dealt with because when you look at even the, the umbrella church and the evangelical church no one has came out until today to speak mm -hmm. on behalf of the body of christ mm -hmm. all right so um the, the, the but, angels, but they'll tell you that they probably have private meetings with the prime minister no but you can't have a private you can't have a private meeting <laughs> yeah but that's why the umbrella groups and that's why the groups are there that then they meet with the prime so, so let me ask a privately. question who is it that is representing the church a but that's what they are doing i mean the jug mm -hmm. See, it said they are representing mm -hmm. probably 90 something, 96 without a vocal 96 percent of the, 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 the Christian community. So, if they meet with the prime minister, mm -hmm. they are meeting on behalf of the Christian community. So, yes. so maybe there are private meetings that you don't know about mm -hmm. that that were taking place behind, but closed but room. every time, every time that the, 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 the prime minister comes out and declares something about the church, he's the one who spoke, there's no representative. That's where I'm coming from. Who is it that is going to speak on behalf different from the Prime Minister? Because the Prime Minister's responsibility is from a legislative point of view, yes. a leadership point of view. Not from a spiritual. Not from a spiritual. Well, if he was a born again mm. and living the way that, you know, a Christian should live, then he could speak from a, well, a, a I, spiritual I don't have a problem perspective with because yeah. there are government leaders around yeah. the world that can speak yes. from a legislative perspective yes. and they also speak from a spiritual perspective. Yes, yes, For instance, yes. in Tanzania, yeah, yes. the, the Prime Minister there, he's a Christian, yes, yes. born again, so he speaks from legislation mm. as well as spiritual. spiritual. But you are saying that you don't see the church coming out and and saying right. in other words we are just confirming them well i, I think what the lord has revealed to me is that the church have sold out sold out the body of christ you mean you mean the church become judas again judas yes so, so me not get none of the money well a lot a lot of me a part of the church so i'm well, not getting none lot, of the money that a lot have received me to ask for my money there but <laughs> even even during the, 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 the during the election did you know that a lot of christians came that that caught up in the vote buying also christians christians i know <laughs> i know of a there is a there are texts that came to me mm -hmm. a sister she was in tears mm -hmm. she said a deacon mm -hmm. text her mm -hmm. with a bell mm -hmm. and money yeah and she found it very offended because she said well the deacon should not dictate to me you know who to vote for so, you so, know, so the, you, you, these are allegations are these are evidence. no these are not these are not these are not allegations so, so, are so if somebody decides to to come to you and say pastor listen you're going to have to prove to win which part the man they were get the money you can't you can can, present i evidence. can present the evidence all right so i i hear you and and i mean you're entitled to your opinion um pastor and and that is one of the things i want to say to jamaicans and to whether you are believers, yes. whether you are non-believers, people are entitled to their freedom of speech. to speak. People are f entitled to say what they believe the Lord is saying to them. And none of us are in a position to say that God did not speak to Apostle Peter Chambers. We may not agree with everything that he says. We may not agree with how he does it. Thank you. We may not agree with his formula, with his method. <laughs> but the message is what Repentance. we need to look at. And I am saying today that I, I don't want to live in a Jamaica where the Prime Minister can call those who break the COVID laws mm -hmm. weak fence. Thank you. But Apostle Peter Chambers mm -hmm. cannot speak the word of the mm -hmm. Lord. I don't want to live in that country. Mm -hmm. The Prime Minister is just a human being. being like, like all of us, yes. we need to respect his office. But a couple of years from now, he might not be in that office. He's mm -hmm. not a human being like me. Mm -hmm. We respect the office of the Prime Minister, but we also recognize he's fallible. Yes. He's feeble. He's weak. Yes. God's mercy is why he woke up this morning and, and do what he does so we don't want people to be threatening people mm -hmm. when they criticize the prime minister mm -hmm. in fact in fact let me say this i have been around for a long time now and i've never seen so much hatred in america and, and i've that's never true. seen one president that's true. being hated Did. in america trump, like mr trump, donald trump, trump. and let true. me tell you something there are those even in Jamaica, Jamaica who hate, hate Donald Trump true. 
and they are going to say that Donald Trump is a racist. Yes. Yeah, but the, I have experienced classes yes. in Jamaica. That's true. I have seen classes where because you go to the university and Thank the man you. go, him can't marry. So I have seen mm -hmm. all of these things. Back to the United States. Donald Trump is hated by a lot of people. A lot of because. things have been said mm -hmm. about Mr. Trump. And, and I don't hear nobody killing I don't hear nobody killing anybody because mm. they speak their mind. Journalists mm. speak. People hate him. So I am saying we are living in an era where people criticize even president, president and yeah. prime ministers. Right. And if you believe God is giving you a word for, for the prime minister, then I think he should hear it. Yes, yes. And so my question to you, though, you said that judgment will, will come to his, his family. Yes. Um, that's a personal word yes, that here. Is a personal word. Did God give you that word? Yes, the Lord, the Lord spoke to me. The Lord spoke to me. What the Lord said to you All right. about the, the Prime Minister when, and his family? All right. Before that, that revelation came to me, the, the intense lockdown that, was, that came upon the church, not only that, the church was ignored. If you notice, the government put more emphasis on the medical, the medical um, territory than the church mm -hmm. until today the honorable noble and Holiness have not asked the church to pray against the pandemic one two we prayed a prayer last year after of a, a sheet of paper that's all i could remember mm -hmm. all right i am saying sir then if you came openly to pray a prayer as that why couldn't you come back to the church glory be to god for help all right that the lord said to me tell him that listen if you read the church the body of christ out of jamaica i am coming at you but but i don't think the prime minister can read the church out of jamaica because one jesus christ said i am building my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it so the prime minister can't prevail against god's christ church but and he doesn't he do, you notice they always say separation of mm. church and yes. state yes. prime minister can't shut down the church well what happened i don't know if you noticed that during the the shutdown mm -hmm. did you know i did my review i did my investigation mm -hmm. did you know that a lot of members backslid mm -hmm. too did you know that a lot of sisters got pregnant during the lockdown all right mm -hmm. did you know that there are many members who said that not going back to church and the body of Christ was affected no, but deeply. That, but that could also be fulfillment of the scriptures. The mm -hmm. Bible says in the, in the final hour, in the last yes. days, there will be a great falling, falling away, away from yes. the faith. So, so those who are not genuine will be in this time, you're going to have a falling away. So could this be the starting of the falling away? So, you know, those who are not going back to church, it's not because of the pandemic why they're not going back to church those who are not serving god mm -hmm. as a result of what is happening is not the pandemic that is causing all of that they were not in the place in terms of their heart condition where they were right with god so so i can't say that you know because of what the prime minister has done yeah what he has done is what has happened around the world yes. my concern and my issue with 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 the church community is that we conform to everything everything we have been just conforming that's true there's nobody who has stood up mm -hmm. apart from you and said listen we need to question this thing i've never heard anybody said that they have done any autopsy mm -hmm. and any of these you know covid bodies, COVID bodies i've you. never heard it i i would love to it hear is is yeah hidden. i would love to hear yeah. what the autopsy show you know is it covid that kill because one thing you hear is that all the persons who died mm -hmm. from the covid uh, 19 they have underlying condition yes. they have health issues yes. but i've never really heard anybody say we did an autopsy and these are the ways mean, that mean, yes. you know we find that people died the, 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 the lungs are whatever we don't hear no autopsy done in fact the who has become our god and i agree <laughs> so whatever the who man them say the whole are we including the church leaders them say yes man yes. and we just confirm right. that's my issue with the church of jesus christ in these hours we have got to find a place to say yes we respect the law of the land yes. which we should yes yes i i respect the authority of the land yes. but 
is it that God is saying something different? Saying something. And it seems as if you are the one that God is speaking to and you are brave and bold enough. And he could use you yes. to speak his word. So you are saying that there are going to come um, judgment and, and um, the prime minister's family. Yes. And it is because of what? The decisions that he has made from a legislative point of view. What, what decision? What, what decision? Yes. Well, as I said, you know, as I said, I, I, I make emphasis on the, the 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 legislation on the removing the rod out of the homes. Yeah. That is one. Two, the um the, the restriction of the the church coming together to fellowship. Three, remember and they could have the COVID, a lot of nomination thank you. And a lot the COVID, the COVID yeah. 19 as the Lord revealed to me yes. it is spiritual yes. and the most honorable and holiness he knows mm -hmm. everything that, is, that has taken place because what the Lord has revealed to me there's a meeting that took place early this year mm -hmm. to the latter part of last year mm -hmm. with, 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 with evil men mm -hmm. of the world who want to control the global world because when we go back to revelation revelation speaks of the the, the mark of the beast mm -hmm. and all of what you see the plane that's playing around the covey mm -hmm. it is just pushing us right into the 666 maybe this is the dress rehearsal really thank you, you. Know? but it's but, a preparation yeah, but, but i'm saying but if 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 god says these things will happen then then they are going to happen they're going to happen so 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 how is it that you're going to i mean because i've never seen any the, the, the church in jamaica mm. prayed for this election more than more than any time yes. else in history that i've been alive the church has really prayed that god would 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 write in this election he would select a leader mm. um in jamaica at this time and so if God, because remember, you know, God don't always select a leader to bless a country. No, no. Sometimes, judgment sometimes God select a leader to bring judgment. judgment that's so true. We need to be balanced with that. Right. So what if is what if God? Because I I must confess mm. I have my own concerns about the prime minister's mm. leadership skills in terms of how he leads. Mm. He tend to be very dictate. He could be a dictator yeah, if yes. he's allowed. Mm -hmm. He could dictate to us. I mean, I've watched him but he's you know, with the media. If he, if he has his way, he, mm -hmm. he will muzzle Manipulate, media. Manipulate, that's true. So I, I've, watched, I've watched him, um, you know, marital rape. They yes. don't want to pass legislation yeah. ah. for marital rape, which is going against the Bible. Mm -hmm. It's going against the family. God says he institute marriage. Marriage, right. And nobody, if God institutes something, are you going against, against it? Against it then you 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 know really become anti-god thank so, you so we, we see the marital rape right we see the abortion the mm. most vulnerable yes. young children i mean unborn young babies ladies. yes we, we see they want to legalize those stuff mm. we see they want to legalize um homosexual we see they yeah. want to pass laws um to call crime hate crime right we see all of those things we see the needs that mm. that that the, the court up. says yes. was unconstitutional so we see a number of things that he has done that would suggest that he's going against god that's true right mm -hmm. we see that and those who don't see it you it's are blind. blind you need to open your eye and those blind, christians and who don't see it you need to you need to ask yourself if you are really mm. for god as or, moses would say to the children of israel those who are on the Lord's side come. Yes, come. So we are saying we have seen things that this government yes. um, could do that could go against God. We, are, we have seen it. Yes. And I'm saying I believe God allow what happens in this election to happen. Yes, yes. He allows it. He allows him to have two-third majority. Yes, yes. You know? So he can do, and, 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 and there was an article in the Gleaner, and if the most honorable prime minister did not say that he needs to clarify, he needs to say that he didn't say it. The Gleaner article said, he said he wanted to win 42 seats so he can make key legislative changes mm -hmm. without the opposition. Thank you. So obviously he has plans, plans. to make yes, changes yes. to the constitution. Yes. No, I am saying jamaica's constitution is for the jamaican people, people not for foreigners thank you we own the constitution and we will not allow one man
to Thank enslave you. us again. Thank it's you. not going to happen Thank you. under our Thank watch. You. We are still here. Thank you. And we are not afraid to die. Thank you. We can be heroes. So Hallelujah. We, we're not afraid. But I'm saying to you, um, Apostle Peter Chambers, yes. that while he's, he could do all of these things, yes. how about God? You don't think God could, could stop him? You don't think God? Remember, you know, God says the king's heart is yeah. in his yeah. hands yeah. and like the rivers of waters he could turn it whichever yeah. way he wants to turn it so while we are worried yeah. that there are international powers yeah. and there are international parties that want to interfere yeah. in our country and how our country is run there are, there are forces that want yeah. to bring their 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 thing to jamaica yeah. you know and so they could use him could it be that god could also use him to do what he recall wants him to do in this season so i don't i don't see you know the the the, the majority seat i see the people of jamaica mm. now will be the opposition and when the people yes. of jamaica and especially the church we now have to be the opposition mm. leader so you 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 made a number of other statements mm. um you know one of them that i want to look at is that you you said that <laughs> Jamaica will become the field of blood. Yes. What that mean, that makes Apostle? Me. I All need right. to know what that means. All right. Because we already seen enough bloodshed. Thank you. Blood are run everywhere, every day. We we the blood is actually mm -hmm. speaking from from the ground. Just like you know, the Lord said, Cain and Abel, you know, Cain kill Abel. Said the blood of your brother is crying out unto mm -hmm. me. So the blood that has been shed in Jamaica, the innocent blood, mm -hmm. plus the, the babies where they want mm -hmm. to kill now, yes. all of these blood is, is, is crying out. Yes. So Jamaica is already a, 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 a yes. field of blood. So tell us what you mean when you say Jamaica will become the field of blood. All right. What the Lord, um, you know, what the Lord revealed to me, it was a Saturday, three days after, after the election. And, and you saw on Facebook how I have been bashed, um, abused, refused. They said all manner of things. And then the Lord now gave me a vision and showed me what took place in, in the present, in the past election. Mm -hmm. That um, the, the, the one first, the clergymen, mm -hmm. the, the priest of Jamaica, what they did, they sold over jamaica for their belly you mean the pastors yes the pastors but 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 mm. but who oh, you for make a statement like that when when we can't see the evidence no it's not a statement it's, yeah. it's, it's a revelation you, 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 it's a revelation yes, it's a revelation but, the but Lord you know say, man will tell you say mm. even the very pastors will tell you say show me the evidence well listen if you notice a lot of since no i don't get me wrong mm. you know i understand god's revelation yeah yeah because revelation don't mean you have the evidence. Yes, yes. But but that's the problem when you walk in the flesh. Mm. You want to find the evidence. Yes. So you are saying you get a revelation that yes. is not all of the pastor, man. God have some man. No, I'm, not saying, that, I'm mean, not saying man. that all the pastors. Yeah. I'm saying that um, the umbrella church and the, the, the evangelical church, mm. these men who represent the church mm -hmm. on a whole in Jamaica, mm. some of them, not all of them, some of them. but what they, have done, what they have done, they have taking money mm -hmm. they have gotten money praise mm -hmm. god and, yeah. and because of that if you notice their mouth are closed yes. and until today none of them has has come to the the fourth play to to say anything pertaining to what is happening and every time as i said earlier on it is the honorable noble and Jonas who comes speaking for the church yeah. so yeah. which declares or conclude mm -hmm. that um we don't have a representative a, a representer yeah so you are saying that you know you got a revelation yes, you don't the have the evidence that you know any any leaders get any money but but what if somebody well you didn't call anybody mm -hmm. apart from the the, the i have most of the reverend and you and it's, i hope it's not prophecy <laughs> i mean the most uh, the most that honorable would be good. Andrew, that would be good. <laughs> the most honorable Andrew, I don't know, yeah. he's, he's the only one that, that you, you good, really that call and thing mm -hmm. and you mentioned something about the Antichrist is upon Jamaica. Yes. What is that? All right. The Antichrist, as the scripture speaks in um, Revelation, and I think in, um, in, 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 in Romans, the book of Romans, the Antichrist are, is a group, is an organization that will be implemented in the last days that, 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 that brings in the system of the, the um the six 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 the mark of the beast and according to studies study shows that the the, the six 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 is it is is a number for man so but, but let me ask you something is the six 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 going to actually be a number or a system 
No, it's going to be a system. Okay. It's going to be a system. What, what do you think that system going to look like? Well, so, so we can prepare ourselves. Well, the Lord has, has revealed to me. Oh, the Lord has from that, that system. So you yeah. think this this pandemic is yes, all yes. part of the it's preparation a for, 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 for the launching of yeah, that for system. the launching of the system? Because them locked down the world quick, you know, one little virus and yes. the whole world the whole and the whole, whole economy locked down. locked down. You know, yes. What kind of madness is that? Yes, and the type of person that um the the, the honourable Andrew Wallace is, mm -hmm. they will use and mastermind mind and manipulate him to get him into the system what because, kind of person he is well I, I i see the honorable i i i don't see him as this person who will sit down and review things and look into things before he make decisions i see him as this person whatever that comes at the table once he sanction it oh so you say he's a dictator then well you said it turned around. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say he's a dictator. I say I've seen signs, signs of that, dictatorship. You know, of dictatorship right, because we right. would not allow him to be dictator in Jamaica. Right, right. There's no way you're going to dictate. You have to get rid of our generation yes, yes. first. I mean, maybe the younger the ones. Younger ones will swallow yeah, what he's but doing. Our generation yeah. will not. You have to kill us yeah. all. Those of us who over 50, 40, late 40s, over 50, you have to go kill the whole away. But did you to know? Dictate to us again, but did you know that the us? pandemic also was created also to, to eliminate a certain <laughs> certain level of people, the older set of people. Because yeah. the older set of people are the thinkers. Yes. The younger set of people. You notice <laughs> you notice he came out with the with the green clocks and it affected the whole Jamaica. Yes. And in fact I, I yes. it's not only green. I saw orange clocks too. I yes, saw uh, right. I saw a man came to look for me the other day and mm. You know, asking me for a bus fare, but at the same time I saw him wearing a, a orange heat. clock. Yes, a desert <laughs> clock. And I said, "Don't you come and ask me for your lunch money? I have on a desert mm. clock, and me not have on a clock." Mm. And the point I'm making: the younger people, yes. they will take ten thousand and five thousand right. to vote. Mm -hmm. But the older the people, could this could this be a rebuke to us? The, the cherry garden and the red hills and the yes. beverly hills and the, yes. the high you know with all the, the, the elite as yeah, we right, call them right. could this be a rebuke to us that hello those who can be bought are making the decision for thank all of you. us thank you could this be a rebuke that but, we but need to right. participate you're right sir in in deciding who mm -hmm. run our country because if 37 percent of the population vote you know, mm -hmm. It means uh, it's a huge, huge chunk of the population that don't vote. Mm -hmm. and, and whether or not you're happy with the system or not, there has to be a different... I, I guess they are saying both, both parties are the same mm -hmm. thing. But at least we should still decide. They are, just like in America, mm -hmm. I support presidential, President mm -hmm. Trump in 2016. I want to go on record and say for those haters in Jamaica mm. who hate President, Trump, President, President Trump, Trump and those Christians who hate mm. President Trump, I as a Christian supported President Donald Trump in 2016 and I am still supporting him in 2020. You know why? He defended. Donald Trump is, is not who I am supporting. I'm supporting the policies, policies right. and the principles right, the of Donald Trump. Yeah. And I'm saying in Jamaica, we had we have the JLP and the PMP. Mm. There must be some principles and policies that, that govern. we need to move beyond yes. personality. Mm -hmm. I supported the JLP in 2016. I can go on record and say that. I wanted them to win yes and the reason why i wanted them to win is because the, the previous prime minister yes. the honorable uh, most honorable portia, portia Simpson Simpson. miller which is now retired mm. she was asked about the bogre law thank you and she said she would look into it yeah. mark you know mm. she had majority but she That's never touched it that, thank you she never touched it mm -hmm. so i did not want her to go in and then yes. do it so I, I'm not voting on personality. No. I'm dealing with principles yes. and policies. policies. And if, if, if the PMP policies and principle is what I am living for and mm. want to live under, mm. I'm voting for them. Yes. 
If the JLP policy and Is principle right? are we what I want them. to support, I, I will, will support them. Yes. I'm not supporting most honorable and Jewelness. I'm not supporting him. No. I'm supporting the policies, policies yeah. and the principle that, that he stands for. Yes, yes. And if you are saying that you want to kill babies, mm. me not supporting no, you. Sir. If you're saying you want to give us marital rape, uh -huh. me not supporting not, you. you know, if you're saying you want to legalize homosexuality, homosexuality and give marriage, me not supporting yes. you. If you say you want to give us needs to control the no. world away, I'm not, not supporting no. you. So it's not about personality. Personal. Thank you. It's not about bro God, I mm. mean, I don't know what it means, but <laughs> I, I, I'm not supporting that. I am supporting principles and policies and principles and policies that, so, that, that is good. I don't want no government that is going to try to normalize Thank things you. that are abnormal. Thank you. I want government who will say, this is abnormal and we're not going to change the, the constitution for it. Yes. So I am prepared to go on record to say that I supported President Donald Trump mm. because his policies and principles yes. were better than, than. Hillary had at that time. Yes. Hillary wanted to kill babies. Mm. Hillary wanted to push homosexual down with truth. Yes. Anything goes with the Democrat. Yes. And I don't care about President Trump's personal life. Mm. His personal life might be the worst. Thank you. But some of his policies are better. He is the only yes. prime minister to come out and say the church is essential. Thank you. Thank he's you. He is the only prime Thank minister you. to say I support the Christian. Thank you. I support the church. Yes. He is the only president to come out mm -hmm. and say I am not supporting no abortion. Right. So I, I am supporting the principle and the policies. Amen. DNC, anything goes. If you, as a Christian, support DNC, you are going against God, mm -hmm. and 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 not because of. Joe Biden, I'm talking about principles and personality. I've had family members, I've had friends who, who vex with me mm -hmm. because I, I support Donald Trump. Yes. And just like you who speak your truth, mm -hmm. I hear that you are coming under threat. Yes. People are threatening you. Yeah, man, um, people want to kill you. Yeah. People want you to keep quiet. Yes. And people want to cancel you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am saying to you today, and I want to go on record in saying, Hallelujah. we cannot live in a country mm -hmm. where people are not free to, to express their views. We so must, must never speak. allow intimidation and anybody Amen. to stop us from speak our truth respectfully. Yes. And, and, and I have not heard you disrespect the Prime Minister. Thank you. I have I'm not heard you disrespect him. So I, for those who want to kill the brother and those Christians who want to disassociate yes. themselves from him, I am saying we know in parts and we prophesy in parts. Yes. And so if he's prophesying what he thinks God is saying to him, leave him alone because he might be wrong as well as he might be right. But at the end of the day, what we will use to judge him is what he says if it came true. It did yes. it come to pass? Yes. And and so I want to support your bravery. Yes. I want to support, you know, the fact that you are willing and available for God to use you. Yes, yes. I am not saying that you do everything right. Yes, but yes. but we are all in the process. You understand? Most Mr. Trump don't do everything right. Mr. Trump is a in, in, in my eyes he's a horrible man you know? <laughs> Yeah, he's a horrible man. His behavior is horrible. He does some horrible things. Yes, yes. But I'm not supporting Mr. Trump's behavior. I'm That's supporting Mr. Trump's policies. policies and Mr. Trump principles. Yes. And it's time for us to mature as a country, yes. as a people, and stop supporting personality. Yes. It's not personality we're supporting. We are supporting policies. I did not support the JLP because I don't want the policies that they want. Yes. The policies that they want to support, I am not in for it. And so, if tomorrow the policies that, that is what we want to live by, mm -hmm. they are supporting it, I am supporting the JLP. Yes, yes. I am not supporting no party based on personality. I am mm -hmm. supporting a party based on the principles yes. and the policies. And as Jamaican, we need to stop run down personality. Yeah. We need to look at policies that we want to live yes. by. No, when a man tell you, say, he's going to kill and burn babies. Oh, if you support it, when Thank God you. says, children, they are a heritage yes. of the Lord, 
they are a gift to us. Mm. There are some of us who want children who can't, can't get it. And there are those who want to just kill them willy-nilly. We will not support that mm. and we will not, not stand for it. Amen. And that is why I will stand for people who want to support the Judah Christian worldview. Yes. I am not supporting no secular worldview. And that is my right. So what, you're going to kill me for my right too? <laughs> so I don't have a right to speak? Oh Lord. So I'm saying you have a right to speak. Most definitely. And I'm sir. happy that you're not being intimidated no. by anybody. Nice. You continue to speak what God says. And it doesn't matter who. Mm -hmm. the, the most honorable hand you will is not beyond God. Thank you. You're not bigger than God. If God ready for him a man in him can't tell God say him can in already. God is God. So what we need to do is respect each other's opinion, respect each other's views, mm -hmm. and when we where we disagree, we don't have to want to kill. Mm -hmm. And that is where I have an issue. You disagree with him, so you want to kill him. And so you're sending death threat and all of that. You disagree with me, so you want to kill me. So what? I don't have a voice and I don't have a brain to think. I must always be taught. Or to 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 to, to, uh, to to be influenced by somebody else as to how I think. Mm. I have a brain. I have a brain. So I want to um, commend you, um, Apostle yeah. Peter James, Peter Chambers. Peter Chambers. Yeah. Not necessarily for you know everything what you say, mm. but the fact that you are brave, yes. you are bold, you refuse to be intimidated. God is looking for more people like you, yes. and we need to say, "Thus said the Lord." Amen. The three Hebrew boys that Stood we up. talk about so every Our day team. and we yes. boast about. We would not do that. They said, King, we will not, not serve yes. your, your God king. because yes. your God is not the true God. Oh, thank you. And they, 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 they had to pay the price. Yes, yes. No, we must be prepared to pay the price to serve God in Amen. these last days. Amen. If we're not prepared to stand for him, and to stand for what he stands for, we might as well lock down the church then, That's pack true. up with bag, That's and go true. live all we want live. Thank you. But if we say we're going to serve God, mm -hmm. we are going to stand for what God stands for. Amen. And that is what I am preaching, that's what I am promoting, that freedom of speech must never be taken away from anybody. Mm -hmm. And we in Jamaica will not allow no prime minister, nobody to Politics. take away our mm -hmm. freedom of speech, because let me tell you something. Any day you do that, you enslave us again. Yes. And that is what Marcus Garvey and Sir Alexander yes, Buster and, Mar and all of these people yes. fought for. For us to be free, mm -hmm. to speak our truth, to say what we have to say without people telling us they're going to kill us because they don't agree with us or we oppose. We, 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 we're not agreeing with them done. Mm -hmm. This is why we have so much, so much, so much issue and yes. bloodshed yes. And, and killing in this country. Yes. We want to change that. We want to say every man need to be free to speak his truth in a respectful way. Whether you agree with him or not, mm -hmm. let us learn to respect each other. Every day people depend on talk show say all manner of things. You not agree with them, say I'll kill them. No, that's not the kind of country we want. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's the country the Prime Minister wants to promote. I don't think so. He mm -hmm. doesn't want that. He wants a country where people are free to express their views. And so that is what we are preaching. And so Apostle Chambers, if you have any final word, you know, um, to say to us, um, you know, what you think, you know, you have said to the nation and what is happening to you and your family mm -hmm. since, you know, you prophesy mm -hmm. all of these things. Tell us some of the things that are happening to you and, you yeah. know, share your thoughts. Well, um, we, we have lost, my wife and myself, we have lost um, connection with some of the families because of the, 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 the utterance of, that the Lord has given to me. Mm -hmm. And um, clergymen, most of the, as a matter of fact, most of the churches in Jamaica, mm -hmm. I am an enemy to them mm -hmm. from the Apostolic Pentecostals, Church of God, Apostolic <coughs> Baptist, Seventh-day Adventists, etc. Most of the top stream churches, mm -hmm. they are against me. But um, as I said, sir, I'm not afraid. I am, I am not perturbed, I'm not discouraged. It doesn't matter what they do because I've already gave my life as a sacrifice. Mm. I'm not afraid to die mm. because my soul is right with God. Amen. And regardless of what they are saying, it doesn't, not even if you use a needle and a stick me like that, I don't feel it. Mm. And I remember, I remember the night 
at the, the night of the election, and my wife and myself watched the, the result. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And before everything came up, a blanket came upon me with fire. And there was a peace of God deep down in my heart that even when the GLP won, it didn't even trouble me. Because the Lord said to me, Peter, my, what the devil meant for evil, the Lord meant it for good. And you said it earlier on, sir, mm -hmm. while you were explaining everything. Mm -hmm. But um, you see, when you are called for a specific purpose, and it is very important that you and I know what our calling is. I remember earlier on, in about 2003, when I got the vision, I got the vision that I was preaching in a community, preaching in a community, and the people, it was, there was a revival. Mm -hmm. And after the revival, the people now came together along with the leaders, tied my hand with a rope and tied it to a Red Bull. When you look at the, when you look at the Red Bull, it's symbolic, it's, it is symbolic to leaders. Mm -hmm. And they dragged me through the, the streets. So I knew where my life and my future was heading. Mm -hmm. So I have given my life over to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And whatever people say out there, it does not dictate where I'm heading. Mm -hmm. My desire is to make it in and to have my reward and my star and my crown. I, I, I want to commend you. I thank you for, for saying that. You yes, know, sir. I mean, it's very disturbing to hear that a number of churches have basically blackmailed you. I yes, mean, not yes. blackmail you, but they basically don't have anything to do yeah. with you. And it is sad that, you know, we as Christians, we operate like that. But it is, it is a time when the true church is going it's to emerge. Forward, right. The church that Jesus Christ is building yes. is about to emerge now. Yes, we have been building our church, yes. and God, and, and one coronavirus mash up a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of churches have opened back and probably won't true. be even opened back. So the true church now is going to emerge, and what we can do is make our calling an election. election sure, this world is not our final destination. Amen. It is appointed unto men once, once to die, and after death, judgment. the judgment. This is not our final resting place Amen. and as the bible says what i read earlier on in revelation 21 mm. that the second death yes is yes. what we need to be afraid of amen the second death, danger that one is dangerous Do we shouldn't know? be afraid of this death yes <laughs> and before we know we're living in a covid and yes. i hear people calling this new normal i don't want to live in a this with no new normal mass on my face mm. every day social distance that, that's not new normal that's in, that's a crisis mm. That's abnormality. So if that is the new normal for you guys who want to live like that, fine. But we are prepared Amen. to make heaven our, our own. home. And so we will speak God's truth regardless of who like us or who don't like us. They did it to Jesus Christ. Amen. And they will do it to us. Yes. Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep yes. on speak your truth. And we may not like the style. We may not like a lot of things. But God know, you know, when he raised up people, why he raised them up. Yes. And so to God be the glory and I pray a special covering and protection yes. upon you and your family. Yes. And I say to you, no powers of darkness will remove you from this earth Amen. until God ready for you. Amen. And that is the assurance that we have. Amen. And that's the assurance and the insurance that we live with. That Amen. when God is ready for us, we will go. Until that, no powers is going to prevail against us. Yes. Thank you for being here with us, Apostle Peter yes. Chambers. Yes, sir. God bless you, sir. Same to you, sir. Yeah, man.